Hmm. <laughs> Morning, kitties. Here it is. Little Jimmy Femino here. So, you know, being a songwriter, sometimes you just wake up and stuff comes to you. This morning I'm sitting here eating my waffle. Literally got out of bed, made a cup of coffee. It's a beautiful day here in Nashville. First kind of like real wintry, fally day. But nonetheless, I woke up with a deep thought. <laughs> so, you know what that means. Anyway, it's kind of like this. You know, life is all about seasons. The only thing that's constant is constant change. Your life ain't got no rhyme or reason. It just keeps coming at you like a train, which is a good thing. Cause right now, honey, shit's so bad it's funny. <laughs> if I wasn't busy laughing, I'd be crying. Shit's so bad it's funny. If I wasn't busy laughing, I'd be crying. <laughs> See what I mean? All right, now here's, you can look, you can't make this shit up. This is where I'm coming from. Two years ago, my wife, let's say nine, we decide, hey, the kids are all moved out. They're all grown up. A little southern thing there. <laughs> grown up instead of grown up. Anyway. We're like, let's sell a house and buy his and hers campers. And go out and see the USA. Which is exactly what we did. We sold a house. Bought his and hers campers. Headed to Tennessee. Of course, I was already here, but you know what I mean. But... Right about the time all that happened, booyah! She has a stroke. What the fuck? And in the process, takes out a brand new Jeep that she had just bought, driving down Main Street at Royers from Pennsylvania, takes a right-hand turn, boom, calls me up right in the middle of the accident and says, I think something happened. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we get her in the hospital. Luckily, she doesn't have a whole lot of leftover residual side effect stuff. Then, out of nowhere, we think we're getting back to normal. I have a heart attack. What? And right about the time I'm having this heart attack, she has a heart attack. <laughs> it's like, what? We end up in the hospital. Yeah, together. You know, it's like, what the hell is wrong with this picture? Now... While they're in there, while we're in there, I should say, she ends up getting a UTI that ends up taking out her whole body and it ends up becoming, uh, you know, sepsis and um, she's got this infection throughout her whole body. While they're trying to get rid of that, they find out she's got cancer. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can't make this shit up. So I go to visit her, decide how we're going to deal with this cancer that they found after they get rid of the sepsis that they found. As I'm walking out from visiting her with my grandson, Jimmy, walking to the car outside the hospital, I have another heart attack. Walk right back in the damn hospital, and they're like, can we do anything for you, Mr. Feminine? I'm like, yeah, my wife's in 426. Put me in 427, which they did. Come on. You cannot make this shit up. So here we are in the hospital together. Uh, they fix her up. She gets to leave. I'm still in there with heart attack number two. And they're like, hey, by the way, something's wrong with your kidneys. I'm like, great. <laughs> oh, shit. So they're like, all right. Oh, so now she goes, she gets out. What do they do? They go in as she goes in for like a wellness check or something. And she comes out with... They find a grapefruit-sized mass in her stomach that they gotta go in and remove. So they do. And guess what? You guess it. I have a third heart attack. <laughs> it's like, are you shitting me? Three heart attacks. My kidneys are shutting down. And the doctor says to me, all right, Mr. Femino, here's the deal. We can do one of two things. Put you on dialysis right away because your kidneys have shut down entirely. 
or we can just take you to hospice. And I'm like, hospice? Fuck a bunch of that shit. <laughs> I said, well, let's go with dialysis. It sounds better than hospice. <laughs> so for a year and a half of damn dialysis. Now coming up here. Yeah, coming up in about a month, six weeks, something. I got a kidney transplant coming, which is just exciting as all hell to me <laughs> at this point. By the way, they got rid of my wife's grapefruit-sized tumor that they found in her stomach. While they were in there, something went wrong, and she lost the use of her legs. Now she's in a goddamn wheelchair. Sorry, Lord. <laughs> Funny thing is, from the waist up, she's still Leslie party animal. Waist down? Nope, nothing there. <laughs> so my point is, I got all these friends of mine that are mad at me, and they're like, they're like, how can you be so damn happy with all the bullshit that's going on in your life? What's the point? You know what I mean? So the point of this song, <laughs> of all things, is this. You know, life, life's about seasons. Yeah, and the only thing that's constant is constant change. Life ain't got no rhyme or reason. I forgot the next line. Life ain't got no rhyme or reason. Oh, it just keeps coming at you like a train, which is a good thing. Cause right now, honey, shit's so bad, it's funny. <laughs> if I wasn't busy laughing, I'd be crying. Shit's so bad, it's funny. If I wasn't busy laughing, I'd be crying. Yeah, yeah shit's so bad, it's funny. <laughs> if I wasn't busy laughing, I'd be crying. It's so bad, it's funny If I wasn't busy laughing, I'd be crying yeah, If I wasn't busy laughing, I'd be crying <laughs> oh, Yes, I actually wrote that just now <laughs> Hey, I hope y'all having a great day Think about your life. Think about how blessed you are. You know, we're all still here. And you know what? Life is definitely all about seasons and things change. Nothing lasts forever. This too shall pass. So if your point of all this craziness is if you find yourself, you know, today in a spot where you're not very happy with life and you feel like you're getting the short end of the stick, uh, this too will pass. Life is about seasons. It'll change. And provided the good Lord give, keeps giving you breath and you keep waking up, you're ahead of the game and you're way ahead of the people that didn't wake up this morning. So God bless you. I'm Jim Femino. I hope you got a kick out of that stupid-ass song. I know I did. Uh, have a great day. Love you. Know you needed. You're making the world a better place just by being here. And now I'm going to go find a cup of coffee. All right. Love you all. See you.